Quarter power, no light. Hi everyone, this is a post Hurricane Irma update. I did a video talking about Irma showing up here. I live in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the southeast side of the state. Um, we are kind of basically directly in the middle of Orlando and Miami. And in 2004, my husband and I were here in the same house and we lived through two back-to-back -back hurricanes. So we were very, very prepared. So that's one reason why I did a video uh, telling people that we weren't going to evacuate and why and discussing how we were prepared um, for Irma. Um, but yeah, and a lot of people evacuated and got stuck out there. So, I, you know. I don't know. I know some people need to because of uh, if you live on the water, very, very close to the water, then yes, definitely you need to evacuate. But I think a lot of people did that really didn't need to, and they just got scared. Understandably, it was very, it was, it was scary. Yeah, it was, um, it was scary. This Irma thing. So, but anyway, as far as um, my immediate family and I are concerned, uh, and my other family here that lives about. An hour they're about 80 miles north of me in Rockledge everybody survived everybody did okay um, here in our house uh, the house is fine uh, we had no damage to the actual structure of the house however our backyard fence is kaputski I will put pictures at the end of this um, to show you some of the damage uh, my husband is working like crazy to try to get it all back together again because we have two dogs and of course they like to go out in the backyard for understandable reasons uh, one of the dogs is kind of old, so I don't have to put him on a leash when I take him out there. Um, and he's not into zipping around the yard anymore so much. But the other guy is a lot younger, and he wants to run around. So I have to keep him on a leash when we go out because uh, we have rabbits and squirrels and stuff like that that he would love to chase. So, yeah, that's, that's the biggest inconvenience for us. We were without power for about 24 hours, which was pretty sucky. <laughs> but... Um, I am so grateful that we have it back because a lot of people around us do not have it. Um, in 2004, we were without power for 18 days, and um, I think some of that maybe was because at the time where we lived, there were, we were one of only a few houses on the street that we live on. Now the street is much more built up. Um, there are a few lots still that haven't been built on yet, but for the most part, it's you know there's a lot more people here so maybe that's why they fixed it sooner I'm not I'm not really sure why we got so lucky there are still a lot of people in Port St. Lucie who don't have power um, my parents in Rockledge do not have power um, they they probably aren't supposed to, they said they may not get power up there um, until like Sunday and today's Wednesday and they've been without power a couple of days already so um, yeah the hurricane part of Irma was scary I, I won't lie <laughs> It, the these hurricanes started coming in it was just a really long it was just forever first it took forever just to get you get prepared for it and then it kept moving around it was going to go east and it was going to go west and it was you know just it was wobbling all over the place and it was very 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 slow moving and then when it finally got to us it came in on the afternoon and you know it was it was it was windy and everything but that night i'm telling you when i was trying to sleep in the boarded up house with no air conditioning it was suffocating um, it was crazy loud outside <laughs> really really loud we personally got about six inches of rain at our house and in the area I uh, there's a rec recorded amount of 20 inches um, so but then the next day actually things weren't too bad and our street wasn't uh, a lot of stuff everywhere lots and lots of pine cones and and tree limbs and that kind of stuff but other than our fence getting trashed, um, we actually came out pretty well. Our our guest, our hurricane guest, her house, she didn't even lose power, and we were able to take her back home the next day, which she was very grateful for. Um, like I said, my parents are still not doing in, in Rockledge. Rockledge in general is not doing well. Um, they have not had a lot of help from people. I think it's just now they're starting to see a few utility trucks in the area, but they've been very frustrated that... Um, they seem to have been forgotten, um, but of course the whole state is in a mess. I mean, there's not a county in Florida that has not been affected by this storm. So, 
So before I sign off, don't forget to go over and uh, make sure you enter my giveaway for September. And uh, we are having problems with the mail still a little bit, but by the end of the month, which is the end of the giveaway time, uh, everything should be back to normal as far as that's concerned. And I'll try to remember to put the link in the description below so you can go over if you are a crafter, um, a doll person, a doll crafter person, any of those, uh, you would probably be interested because I will have um, interesting um, prizes and giveaways. For example, um, I have a couple of cool craft books. I talk about that in the video. Um, I've got some little uh, doll dresses I've been making. So definitely doll people, if you, you know, like I said, go over there, read the instructions on it's, you know, read, watch the video, watch the video, do what I say in the video, and you might be able to win something. So I appreciate everybody who has uh, reached out and talked to me about um, Irma and been concerned about my safety. And yeah, I guess that's it. Everybody's cool here at uh, Casa Pauli. Thanks again for watching. And yeah, bye. So this is one part of the yard where the fence survived. But then over here, it's kind of like a side fence that fell down. You can see big old branches, pine cones, branches everywhere. So we're lucky that this part is okay. Further down, we lost a tree down there. We had a tree limb, this is actually a root that we ripped out and pulled through the fence. Behind us is a canal and then houses on the other side of the canal. It's not a big canal, it's not like, it's pretty deep, but it's probably about eight feet across. And then this is where a lot of the damage is done here. Next to us is an empty lot that we own and have not developed. This is a big, this is one of the spots obviously that my husband plans to be working on very soon. He built this entire fence himself.